Let's check this out. I had to shave it all off because now at work they require me to wear a face mask all the time so I couldn't breathe with my mustache hairs going up my nose and then the stupid mask down here was itching so I shaved it off. Holy cow. And as you can see, my self haircut looks alright. I actually went to work and people were like, How'd you get your hair cut? Everybody's closed. I said I did it myself. They're like, no way. They didn't look real close because you can see a couple of chop spots here and there. But, oh man. Well, anyway, uh, so this weekend I am going to get rolling on the interior of the truck. So here is how to carpet the inside of a vehicle. Okay, so this is what I'm using. This is called felt pad. And luckily I have some left over from my good old carpet installation days. And first thing you do, make sure your floor is clean. Take a rough measurement. And cut a piece to kind of fit. Line it up to where you want it. I see I got to make a little slash over here for that... Um, brake cable and another little slice over there for the clutch pedal and then I'll show you how I kind of form this stuff in as I cut it all right so now I made a slit around that for the clutch pedal cut a little bit out for the whole emergency brake cable I cut that out because that thing's broken and I might want to replace it someday so I don't want it to be too hard to get out of there if I have to and then this stuff here is all pretty flat but then when you get over to this stuff we got all these crinkles and crips so what I got to do is make a bunch of little slash marks in there to pre-cut this kind of so I'm gonna make them slash marks I wish I could show you but I don't have a cameraman so I'm gonna have to set it down cut it and then show you Okay, so what I did is made a big angle slice there, a big angle slice there, and same thing with this for this corner. It's going to have to form around all of this. And another one back there. Okay, so now I got this pretty much where I want it, leaving a little bit of a gap up here around the edges everywhere because that's pretty much where I'm going to be gluing the carpet to and a little bit to the pad but not that much I don't want this stuff being in here permanently in case I make it to my 60s or 70s and decide to have to rebuild this floor again <laughs> who knows but anyway so what I did I made a little slice here for that and then what I'm going to do here is I'll probably cut this little corner off here and then behind here I'm gonna make a slice right here cut that off and then this corner cut that off like I said and that stuff should meet and I'll do the same thing here this one won't be as drastic but it's gonna need a little bit trimmed off and the best way to do that is a nice sharp Stanley knife if you have a sharpening stone keep sharpening it or you're gonna have to keep changing the blade because you can only cut about four or five inches with one of these and it's done this padding is like terrible it just eats the blades up the other option you have is a nice big sharp scissors which I have so that makes it very handy so I'll be doing both though because the scissors don't work all that great either on this stuff, but they work. Alright, so I'm going to cut all that and I'll show you what that looks like. So now I pretty much got it all cut to fit in place, went around the seat belt. Um, one note, um, this isn't really for padding, like for cushion. I'm mostly doing this for soundproofing because, you know... This is a pretty loud truck 
So, I mean, it's it's so bad in here, or before it was. I mean, you couldn't even really have a conversation in here because, I mean, running straight headers and things pretty loud. It has mufflers, but they're like rotted gone. So, hopefully I'll be replacing them. But this is mostly for sound deadening. So you really don't have to do this. I'm just doing it, you know, for that reason. Um, but this padding is like for commercial use. Like if you go into office buildings and stuff, you notice they got that real short pile carpet. That's This is usually what's underneath it. But if you can see my slits here, well, I made these slices. You pretty much just, you know, overlap the stuff and then kind of trace it with the razor knife. You know, here I screwed up, so I always have to put that little piece in there. And this I had to cut back for this strange rounded corner. And then that will all kind of get pinched together when I glue it. And so, yeah, pretty much ready for glue. And... So what I'm going to use is just some uh, contact cement. You know, I'm not going to use a lot. I'm just basically going to go around, around the perimeter, maybe a little bit in the middle, and then there's going to be mostly glue by the all the slices to hold them together. But otherwise, I really don't want this stuff stuck in here forever. Because, like I said, if I make it into my 60s or 70s and decide to work on this thing again. I don't want to have a big problem tearing this stuff out. Of course, who knows, if I have to work on it again by then, I might not have a problem tearing it out because it might have fallen out like it did last time. So, ha ha. Alright, well anyway, I'm going to get going on the contact cement here. And if you're not familiar with contact cement, you basically just take a paintbrush and paint it on your surface that you're going to stick something to and then you stick it you paint it on the other side of the surface and you kind of leave that stuff separated for about 10 minutes and then you just put it back together and it's like BAM contact so that's why they call it contact cement because once you contact it that's pretty much it it's contacted for a long time just kind of glued around my perimeter here what I did leave it in place fold half of it back because you don't want to pull this whole piece out and then put it back in here and have it shift on you and then you can't quite get it back to position you had it in so that's a good tip right there um, anyway so I basically just went around the perimeter here and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fold this back in and just get some of that glue on there so I know where it is and then I'm gonna fold it back over and then paint this backside instead of trying to guess where it is so as you can see it kinda of left a little bit here and there so I know where my spots are and I can pretty much just paint brush it on there and then let it sit about 10 minutes and then I should be able to fold it in here and it should be done done tight good ready to go so i got the back side of that paint brushed it's been about 10 minutes so i'm just gonna kind of gently flip this in here kind of start in this corner here where it's going to be formed get that stuff to stick first here push this stuff down okay now it looks like it needs to work that way a little bit yeah, it's still shifted on me a little bit but that's okay oh, got a little tight around that seatbelt yep yeah. all right hmm. yeah, that sticks pretty good I think it might That's one good thing too is if it doesn't stick right away you just kind of pull it back and it makes all those little stringies 
and you just kind of keep doing that a couple times and it'll stick but once it sticks it's stuck I'm gonna have to put a little bit there I don't think I have any glue there all right well anyway I'll get to that later all right so then I'm gonna fold this side back and do the same thing and I'll mostly be putting it's going to pretty much run the glue down the center and around the edge and then mostly on this side piece I'll probably paint all of that with the glue so I can get these nice and stuck together pretty good. So this side's pretty much done now. I'm going to leave this back because that's underneath the seat and I'll probably be running the carpet all the way up and back anyway so I don't really care about that little gap. So, like I said, this is mostly just for soundproofing. So, now I'm going to jump over to the other side and do the same thing. So hopefully you guys get the gist of this. I'm not going to show you any more over there because it's going to be boring. Unless I find another tip or something to throw in. I got all the padding in. So now it's time for the carpet. And what I'm going to try to do here, I'm going to try doing this in two pieces because I don't want to try and, it's too hard to do this in one piece and it's just a pain in the rear end. So I'm probably going to have a seam right here in the middle. I'll do one side and then the other 